Well, there's been a request to see my living space, which is kind of awkward because it's a little scary. But I'm going to show it to you because I think it's kind of funny. Um, here we go. Let's see. And hold on a second. Here is my sticky pad to keep things from falling. And I mostly just stick my glasses to it. <laughs> it is, it's very sticky. It's weird. It's really kind of weird. Okay, and here is my, <laughs> my laptop, which I'm playing podcasts on while I drive. So then my purse is behind my laptop. This is a bag with some peanut butter crackers in it that I bought at a gas station. Here is my bag that holds my laptop and my electronics. This is the massive tangle of wires that I have to avoid with my stick shift car. And there I've got my computer plugged into my yeah, to my car here. Um I have snacks and food shoved all in here. I've got a whole bag of snacks, but also I have a little trash can here which the trash doesn't always make it into and some water. Um, so basically everything in the front seat is stuff that I need to reach very quickly, so it looks kind of like a mess, but I have a lot of things. This is my speaker that I listen to. I know, it's way overly complicated. I really should just use my phone, but I, yeah, I'm dumb. I'm dumb like that. So, uh, yes, front of the car. Back of the car. All right, what do we have here? Mm -mm -mm. There is a backpack. There is another bag. A lunchbox. This is all of my bedding and my coats. And oh look, it's this polka dotted robe, which I couldn't not bring. And a pillow pet. And blankets and more blankets. This is my... um what do you call it? You know, my this is my shower thing. It's wet, which is why it's outside of the... It go, normally goes in the backpack. So I've got stuff laid out that I'm trying to dry. Oops, that was my towel that was supposed to be drying back there. Uh, this is a giant tire in my back seat. Um, Dad insisted that I needed a spare tire, but this tire does not fit in the nice little niche in my trunk that uh, the spare donut fits into. So I have to carry it around inside my car because there's no room in my trunk. This is more food that I wanted to bring, but it's not snacky, so I... Cereal and uh, carnation breakfast stuff. I was thinking eventually I might buy some milk, but I that's kind of a big hassle right now. So I have, yeah. So my back seat... Hold on, I'm going to get out here. Please be quiet. My back seat is full to about as high as it can be while still being able to see. So, on in the back here, I have a pair of jeans that I ruined by falling down in Garden of the Gods. And I was thinking that if I let it dry, maybe it'll scrape off better, but yeah. These are my shoes. And my atlas, which is old. My parents have had it for, I don't know, well, since 05, I guess. And... my trunk. It is totally full. There's actually a little bit of space right there to take those backpacks in the front and stick them in the back so that I, when I go places um, I can lock everything valuable in the trunk. But even when the backpacks are locked in the trunk, my back seat is full of blankets and silly pillows and polka dotted fuzzy robes and a giant tire. So, that is my car. It is stuffed as full as it will, well, yeah, it, this is about as full as it could possibly be. Actually, there's slightly more room for things, but, um, 
it's actually tough just kind of living with this much stuff packed into my car because every time I want to do anything I have to move everything because like in order to sleep I've got to move the tire to the front seat and yeah anyway you get the idea so there's my car very full and this is Wyoming it's kind of boring right here but uh, it's it's uh, pretty on the highway. Wyoming! Ooh, there's some mountains.